Greetings folks, Simon here, welcome back to the channel, and in today's episode of Final Fantasy 7, I'm going to be showing you how you can gain access to the pretty darn awesome Tetra Elemental Accessory. So this is a great item that, uh, for the party member that it's equipped on, will help them to drain fire, cold, lightning, and earth-based elemental attacks. In other words, enemies that cast those attacks onto that party member will actually heal the party member rather than do damage to them. So this is a fantastic item, it's not even limited to one element as you can see. It's going to come in very useful uh, for many a uh, boss fight and just many a battle coming up. So it is something I recommend that you get because it is so easy to get as well, especially on this two. Uh, there's two ways you can get this item. There's the method I'm going to show you now, which gives you access to as many of the Tetra Elementals as you want. And also you can get one Tetra Elemental a little bit later on in the final dungeon out of a treasure chest. But for actually getting as many as you want, this is the only way. So what you're going to do is take the High Wind. You don't even need a Chocobo, by the way. Uh, and you're going to take Take it south of the gold saucer to a small island that isn't actually shown on the map. So let's just speed things up here. And you'll recognise it because it's just a little island in the middle of the ocean that has uh, a little bit of desert, a little bit of grass. So this is the one we want. Let's just turn turbo speed off here. And I just want to give a shout out to everybody in the live stream, the last live stream, who actually shared the tips with me to get this farm down absolutely perfect, which I think we've done now. And I'm going to show you the best way to get the Tetra Elemental. Also, huge shout out to everybody who supports the channel um, as a YouTube member, Patron, or, you know, during the super chats on the live streams. So, the material you're going to want to have for the setup here is enemy skills with level 4 suicide. You're going to want to cast this twice in each battle, so make sure... Uh, if possible, you have multiple enemy skills with uh, level 4 suicide so that you don't have to wait for each character to uh, get back onto the turn. And also make sure you have the manipulate materia on one character and on another character, not the same character you have manipulate, have morph. Okay, so that's pretty much the setup you need. And what we're going to do is just run around the desert area here. And eventually we'll get a Cactuar to spawn. Now, Cactuars are not the same as Cactuars, which, you know, you may be familiar with from earlier on in the game. Um, but they are very similar. They do have some nasty attacks, so just be prepared to get some healing done as well. And what we're going to do is to start with two level 4 suicide attacks. So, I'm not going to use the, enemy, uh, the party member that has uh, Manipulate. Because we are also going to try and manipulate this creature as well. And the reason we're going to manipulate it is it actually makes the morph command uh, far more likely to succeed. Because these guys have a very high success chance, so very high evade chance, normally morph is not going to work. But when they're manipulated, it does. I don't know why, but that's just how it works. And there we have it. So by morphing the Cactua, you get the Tetra Elemental Accessory guaranteed. So the simple process is, and I'll show you again here, uh, you encounter one in battle, you cast level 4 suicide twice. If you only cast it once, then uh, there's a good chance that morph isn't going to work, unless you're using Yuffie's conformer weapon. Since that doesn't do any less damage, you might not even have to do level 4 suicide in that case. Uh, let's just go ahead here and do so. Since I don't have access to the conformer yet. Yeah, unfortunately, manipulate itself doesn't always work. So you'll probably just get into a routine once you've done that of just casting manipulate and morph. Manipulate has a much higher success chance than morph. So I do recommend you try and manipulate the enemy at the same time as trying to morph them with another party member. Hence the reason I told you to make sure that manipulate and morph are not on the same person. So there we have it, another Tetra Elemental. Obviously, you're only going to need three in terms of, you know, gameplay reasons, since you can only have three party members in battle at once. Uh, but you can go ahead and farm as many of these as you might want to get. Uh, you can, of course, sell the ones that you don't want to use, um, or if you're going for a perfect game, you might want to get 99 of them. But there we have it, fantastic item, an easy farm once you've got the correct setup, as you guys can see, and just have a way at it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time for more Final Fantasy seven. <laughs> well, it sounds like you're having fun.